By the way, before we break, you mentioned Blake Corum. We interviewed him toward the end of our run on yeah. Friday. And NBC takes this nice stage that we do our stuff on, and it's elevated by several feet. You fell off of it, as we know. <laughs> yeah. And I think this stage is actually a little higher than the one you fell off right. of last year in Arizona. And if I talk about it long enough, we'll get the gif of you falling off the stage. But I saw Blake Corum coming our way on the far side of the stage. Yeah. The stairs were on the complete other side of the stage. And I thought he was going to walk around and come up the steps. So I turn and I see Blake Corum. And I keep walking. Next thing I know, Blake Corum's right next to me. Yeah. I mean, and, and I didn't even hear it. Cat-like. Just effortless just pops right up there and you, you've said all the time how running backs are the you know the best pound for pound athlete on a football team they can run faster than anyone they can beat the hell out of anyone if they had to and they can they can spring like a cat no doubt that and not even legs and not even make right a there. noise right. just pop right up he did i watched him do it i mean he just took it right in stride he had to step up like above his waist but it was nothing for him and yeah, he's got that kind of power body that we talk about. He had a good showing. Good for Blake Corum. A lot of people want to know how fast he was, right? You know, uh, four, five, four, five, three, I think is what I saw at his best there. Good for Blake Corum. It's certainly going to help him. Well, and, you know, you hear some of the rounds that these running backs are projected. And remember, that's the nature of the position now. But there are going to be guys who get taken around three, around four, around five, who become superstars. There may be a guy at running back who isn't even drafted, who leads the league in rushing. We've seen that before, too. So it's the nature of the position. But, you know, you get so caught up in the guys who are going to go early. Some of these guys who aren't going to go early are still going to be damn good players in the NFL. They're going to be real contributors. Everybody's going to want them on their fantasy team. And it's, it's just fun to get a chance to talk to these guys before they become the star players that everybody knows. Yeah, no, it is. It was great. And, I, and as I said on Friday, I don't remember. And I, I think most people that watched us, I heard the same type of feedback. I don't remember a group with that type of personality, right? There was more star personalities at the Combine than I can ever remember, and I think this was my eighth year there, seventh year there, either way, somewhere in that ballpark. But, you know, as we talk, we usually get guys that are scared by their ex-coaches in college and scared by the agents, and it's just, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to work hard, sir. Yes, no, sir. And th we got a group here that expanded on answers, showed their personality, and uh, it, it actually makes it more exciting through the draft process because, you know, you want to root for guys like that. You do. And now you go, wait, this guy's a good player, and he's got the superstar type of personality? Uh-oh, you could have something special here. And, you know, I know we talked about that offstage a lot, you know, the, about that aspect of these young guys uh, last week in Indy. One of the things that came up in discussions I had away from the area where we did our, our interviews, and also it came, it came up during at least one of the interviews, the idea of authenticity and being yourself. Don't go to that. And this is true for anybody any job interview you do, don't go in there being anyone other than who you are. Trust that who you are is good enough. And if it's not, then move on to somewhere else where being who you are is good enough. Because if you go in there acting like somebody other than who you are, that's the person they're going to expect to show up on day one, yeah. not the person you really are. So unless you're committed to the bit, unless you're willing to be that fake person that you were for the interview – Every day for as many years as you work at that job, whatever industry it is, just be yourself. Be yourself and take your chances because it's a hell of a lot easier to live life being yourself than trying to be somebody who you're not. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.